Welcome back to the channel. This is Jim, Bang Time Pool. So as you figured out, today we're going to be talking about a little tool that we use. Some people call it the bridge. Some people call it the mechanical bridge, the crutch, the cheater stick. No matter what, we need to know how to use it. It's beneficial in the game. I'm going to go over some techniques, what to do, what not to do. One thing I do recommend to cut down on the number of times that you do have to use this tool, I don't recommend getting up on the table like my intro. Okay. I don't recommend shooting when you're stretching at the end of your stick, trying to pocket it. Okay. Now, when do we use this? My normal stance, I step into a shot, I'm here. Okay. So if I'm up this way, a little bit further away. This is a nine foot table. So um, you're going to use this mostly on eight and nine foot tables. Um, they do have them uh, available on the bar boxes as well, but um, the uses are very far, um, not many uses. So we can handle changing our stance a little bit for a shot like this. But when we get into this is when we have problems. This is where this comes into play. Now, as you can see, and I'll give you a close up, we have some grooves your stick fits into. There's one middle high, and we have two, which would be your center ball hits. Okay? So today, I'm not going to use a lot of English. Um, we're going to mainly concentrate on your center ball hits. We'll include that in a future video. But I'm going to give you a close-up of what, this is the most common, okay? We have your middle, a little bit lower, and then if you turn it on its side, and I'll go over that as well, we do have another groove. So how do we use this? Pretty simple, actually. So as a right-handed player, okay, what I want to do... <clears throat> Now, what I want to do is I want to line my shot up, okay? So I'm going to make this as simple as I can. So I have the eight ball left. So I want to aim the right-hand side of the nine ball to come off the rail for a straight-in shot. So I want to line my, the middle of my bridge up with my shot so my stick is going down the line. Now. I want to throw this off to the side just a little bit. The reason for that is I want to stabilize it with my off hand and in certain situations I want to be able to remove it or remove it. Okay. Now, how do we hold the cue? Thumb on the bottom, two fingers, these are off the stick, very loose. Now you notice my elbow. This is going to be personal preference, whether you want to go at 90 degrees, I prefer, prefer a 45 degree angle. This angle, rather than this, gives you the ability to full stroke, as you can see. Okay. Now, rotating this does not affect how this, the cue glides through. Okay. The, the great thing about that is, if I have some blocker balls, Okay? and I have to actually go out to here, I can still pocket the ball. If I have to go into here, I can still pocket the ball. So we can move this. Okay? If you're on a smaller table and you're on the rail, that's fine. You can stabilize it on the rail as well. Okay? So that's where we're at right now. So how do we perform the shot? Very simple. As again, line it up. I kick it off to my off hand, which would be my bridge hand, 
45 degree angle with the elbow. The butt of the cue is on my chin, looking down my shot line. Now notice the cue is elevated a bit more than our normal stroke. Okay, how far do we get it away from the cue ball? Our normal bridge, eight to 12 inches. 12 may be extensive, about eight inches, something like that. Mine may be a little bit longer than, than most, but um, you know, you're gonna be comfortable with it. Now that's on the normal middle groove on the bridge. So how do we perform, perform the shot? Again, here, you're gonna take your practice strokes. Now, make sure you don't come back too far and fall off the bridge. Looking straight down the line, follow through. Now, if the cue ball was coming back, you simply grasp, pick up. You don't need to get it out of the way. We only need to pick it up this far because that's the height of a ball, okay? Which would leave us a shot on the eight ball. Now, there's certain occasions where we have to apply a little bit of spin. So what we have to remember here is we're a little bit elevated. So if I'm gonna create a little bit of spin up here, remember how we hit a mass A. If you haven't seen my video on curve shots and mass A's and things like that, please check it out. We elevate our cue. So we have to be sure, what I do is I use a, at least a half a tip less of English so I'm gonna show you this, we'll get in more detail in a future video. But for instance, I'm gonna use high right hand, just about one tip of English. As you can see the spin <clears throat> for a straight shot on the eight ball in the corner. Okay, so sometimes we have to use a little bit of draw. Okay, so let's just say our eight balls here, we have to draw. Now this is, this is critical. So if I roll it up, I'm probably going to be below the eight ball, a little more severe cut than I wanted. So I can hit a stop shot or I can draw the ball back. So I'm going to show you both. So if I want to hit a stop shot, I simply support the cue. I kind of pin it down to the, to the felt so it is stable. I'm hitting center of the cue ball, two fingers, nice and loose, I hit a stop shot. Okay. Now, if I need to draw it back a little bit, <coughs> excuse me. Let me just straight look at it. Now, here's a mistake a lot of people make. So we're our six to eight inches away. So I'm gonna hit a draw shot. What do we do? Miscue jump shot. Okay? Here's what we have to remember. We're elevated. So how can we flatten this cue out? Pull the bridge back and watch the cue drop. Now all we have to do is hit below center and we have a little bit of draw. Okay, so again, on your draw shot, and again, this is just using the center. Make sure that we don't jack up and hit low. You just want below center, pull the bridge back, stabilize it, and hit below center. Now you can also use one of the lower. That way you can get just a little bit closer, a little more comfortable, and hit your, hit your draw shot. Okay, that's gonna be preference. So it's gonna be up to you. So practice these. What I like to do is, you know, just throw a few balls out here where I can't reach them and come around with the bridge and just set up different shots. 
use different angles, you know, use a cue on the rail here, the bridge on the rail, use a stop shot, okay? Pull it back, set it up, okay? Practice your follow, practice your draw. Don't worry about left and right so much anymore until you get comfortable using it, but this is a great tool to use. Again, I do recommend being able to shoot with your off hand. Okay, we have a shot like this. Let's just make it the eight ball for the win. We have a shot like this, and I'm a right-handed player. And I'm stretching out. Now we've all seen players, you know, the old wrap around the back, things like that. Great time to use the bridge, okay? But for me, I'm more comfortable. Now I've played a lot with my left hand um, since I've started in the game, I've been able to shoot. So if you can um, practice and get comfortable using your off hand, I try not to use the bridge as much as possible. Mainly for me, it's gonna be in this area, coming this way on the table. This way, I'm just gonna use my left hand to pocket the ball. I'm very comfortable with that. But if you're not comfortable using your off hand, let's not go with behind the backs and things like that. Let's get proficient using the bridge, all right? I hope this was helpful to you. Please give me a thumbs up, please comment. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not and hit that bell notification. I appreciate you watching, have a good one.